Easy Drummer itself can be run in one of two configurations. You can run Easy Drummer the app, or you can run Easy Drummer the plugin inside of a DAW or digital audio workstation. The standalone app doesn't need a digital audio workstation to run. You just open it up in your applications folder and run Easy Drummer. Now, when you do that, you're going to have to configure the audio and MIDI settings because those settings are normally controlled by your digital audio workstation when you're running a plugin. So if I'm not running a digital audio workstation, I'm going to have to adjust them here. You'll go to settings and that's where you'll find your audio and MIDI setup. From there, you can determine what active MIDI inputs you want to use as well as what audio outputs you want to use. So you choose your audio device from the top and then pick what output channels from that device you're going to listen to Easy Drummer on. You can choose the sample rate and buffer size, of course, and keeping in mind that you want to manage this with the power of your computer. I might not have a computer that is powerful enough to handle the highest sample rate as well as the lowest buffer size, but configuring that and getting that set up for your computer is going to be important. And again, that's something that normally you'll have set up by your DAW if you're using a digital audio workstation. You can also set the MIDI inputs to templates. So if you go to settings and choose eDrums slash MIDI in, it's from there that you'll be able to set up a preset for different MIDI devices. Now TuneTrack standard is going to follow that general MIDI setup. My C is a kick drum, my D and E are snare drums, my F sharp, the hi-hat. But if you want to use like an eDrum set, like I have a Roland TD-17. Let's see if it's there. I go to Roland. There we go, TD-17 kit. So now if I plugged in my Roland electronic drum set, I'm actually going to be able to use it with Easy Drummer, which is great if I want to play in grooves or something like that. To run Easy Drummer as a plugin, you'll have to do something a little differently. Let's check that out. So I've opened up Logic here. Logic's my digital audio workstation. And if I want to open up the Easy Drummer plugin, I go to a MIDI or instrument track. So I'll go to that MIDI instrument track here. And I'll scroll until I see my Easy Drummer plugin. I go to AU Instruments, Tune Track, and there's Easy Drummer 3. I'll open it up, and there's that plugin. It's going to load itself up, and I'm ready to go. Play a few notes. There we go. I've got sound. One thing you'll notice if I go to Settings, I can choose my electronic drumming setup, but there's no audio MIDI setup. And that's because of what I said earlier. The audio and MIDI devices are being handled by the digital audio workstation. So all I have to worry about here is loading up the plugin. Logic itself will handle the audio and MIDI ins and outs. So right now I'm just dealing with the plugin. But other than that, as you can see, everything else is the same. The layout's the same. I still have access to bandmate. I can drag audio in and out. I can drag MIDI in and out. All of those things still work when you're running a plugin. Uh, it's just that it's now running inside of Logic instead of on its own. And unlike a lot of other apps, you'll actually get quite a bit out of running Easy Drummer on its own because you can really work on and generate those grooves without having to necessarily open up a program or app or a song to work on. You can get those song ideas out in Easy Drummer itself without even working in your DAW.